Hello and welcome back. In this video we're looking at Google Drawing again and we're looking at how we can create a class notice board in Google Drawing and then we can embed it into a Google site. So first off just a quick recap we've accessed Google Drawing from Google Drive and we've gone in via new, more and Google Drawing. So I've already done that and here is my class notice board. I've also found some cork, going for a traditional looking notice board. So I found an image of some cork on the internet and I've added it in a few times here. I've then used the arrange function to, uh, to uh, group them all together. So I've got them all grouped here. So I'm just gonna finish off populating my, my cork board. So I'm gonna copy that and then paste it and then just position them so that I've got my whole board covered in cork. I'm just going to do the same again, paste again, and drag them into position. Um, and you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard as well, if you find that's easier. And we'll do one more. Now you can see the lines, and I could tweak that more if I wanted to, but for the purposes of this demo, this will be fine. So you get the idea. And then one more. Now you may be seeing it's all uneven, but when we embed it, you'll only see what's inside the frame, so that's not a problem. So we've got our cork bit there, and then uh, we could add images, so we could just do insert and image, and we could search the internet for an image, or we could upload an image that we've already got. And we could choose an image we want to insert in there, let's go for the Mustang and click select. So we could use it like that and insert an image and then obviously we can resize that image. And then for finishing touch we can insert another image load an image so I've got an image here of a drawing pin just make it look a bit more authentic so we're going to click on that and open and we could drag that into position and resize that And we could do that a few more times if we wanted. The other thing you could do, obviously, is you wanted more of a post-it note type effect, you could use the shapes. Insert a post-it note like shape. Uh, you can then tweak the color. So let's go with that sort of more traditional yellow color for the post-it note. And then we could add a text box on top of that and type in our message. And just correct the typo. So you get the idea anyway, and again, we could add our thing there. So we've now got our drawing, which is great. We're just going to go to share and advanced. And we're going to make it so that anyone who's got the link can view. Now, if you wanted to class one, you could potentially make it that anyone with a link could edit, but we're just going to have it as a, as a tutor controlled notice board and done. And then I'm going to go over to my site and I'm going to add it. So if we look down the bottom, we can see that drawings does not appear. However, if you go to from drive, 
you can see various things and you click notice board and then down the bottom click insert it will add that to your site now the advantage of this is make it slightly bigger that is now visible to people um, who view the site and for you as the teacher you don't need to go into sites to update it you can just update it in drawing and it will appear live in your site so that's how you could use Google drawing as a notice board and then share it via Google sites the other thing you could do in a similar nature to that if we just delete that is you could use it for a timetable as well or a class rotor so again same process we go from drive we choose class rotor and I created that in Google drawing exactly the same way I put a shape in the background to give me my color background I then added a table um, and again I could populate that in Google drawing and I wouldn't need to keep going into the Google site I could also if we just go back to Google drawing very quickly I could also choose if I don't use a Google site with my students I could uh, publish to web um, and I could use the embed code and I could embed it into my VLE page so a really nice easy way of being able to either update your students about a class rotor or share information via a virtual class 